Okay, so this is going to be my first time trying my scrub a wash bag that I got as a gift from a great friend of mine. I've actually been really lucky. Most places I've been at in Costa Rica so far, I've had a proper washing machine, which is incredible. But this place, um, I will be doing the usual budget travel and doing my own laundry. So here we go. I <laughs> got a bunch of dirty stuff here. Um, this, I believe, is the medium bag. And it kind of says to fill to this water line. A couple shirts, a couple pairs of socks, and some undies. So I think a couple tank tops, a um, couple pairs of shorts. I'm going to give that a shot. My shower actually has hot water, so I am going to uh, try some hot to warm water in here. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, not sure if this is the best setup, but here's what I got with the camera. Actually, let me scooch it back a little bit. Okay, so I filled the bag up to the line here in the shower. It gets pretty heavy as you're filling it with water, so I got I, like kind of a good workout in the shower. I was doing lifts as I was filling it in the shower. <laughs> Um, so, I'm gathering from the instructions where the little dots say water, suds, and then clothes. You put it in that order. So otherwise, if you put the clothes in first, you're going to end up adding a lot less water. So, who knows, but here we go. Put my things in. Okay, again, I'm just putting a few items in here. I've got more to do for sure. In fact, I wonder... Yeah, I probably could have fit. I probably could have fit more in there, but I'll just do this for now. Um, all right. So next instruction is to roll and clip. All right. Let's see. I don't know if it matters which way you roll it. I'm not sure it really says here. So. All right now, I know you have to leave this little nozzle open to let the air out. So I'm just going to roll it this much. And I'm going to clip it to the back. Clipped. And let's see, now what's next? Twist. So now we twist this to let the air out. Or, ah, to let, okay, so you don't lay it down. <laughs> that was stupid. Alright, getting the air out. I don't know if you get all the air out. I probably should have read some online tips first. Okay, deflate. It's deflated, there's some suds coming out. Close it up. Okay, now number four is to rub for 30 seconds to three minutes. You know, I'm not actually really, okay, there we go. I'm not actually hitting the base of a little washboard. It's like there's so much water and I'm kind of mushing it around. It's a little hard to get the clothes actually against the little washboard. Okay, well I'm gonna continue to do this for a while here. And um, I'll pick back up in a sec. All right, so I've been rubbing this thing for a few minutes now. It did, the, the roll did sort of come undone. Some water started splashing out. So you can see the table's pretty wet. So I wouldn't recommend doing this somewhere that you, uh, you know, you don't want it to get wet. You know, with all the water in here, maybe I should have left a little more air because it's hard to mush the clothing all the way down to the little washboard. But let's see, okay, so the next um, instruction Use to pour out the dirty water, pour in some clean water, and dry. All right, I'm gonna go dump this out and see how it goes. So I just tried the rinse cycle. Um, okay, so what I've noticed, so for, okay, so first I rinsed the bag out because the bag was all soapy. And then I put the clothes in, I, I sort of swished around with clean water twice, because I usually rinse my clothes out with like the faucet running, so it's not sitting in a, you know, a bowl of soapy water, but, I think this might have worked out okay. okay. The thing that's funny is that this is a pretty big bag to maneuver in a small sink. So like trying to get it under the faucet and fill it properly didn't really work. So I did it in the shower. Um, ended up soaking wet. This go soaking wet. So I, I don't care. It's funny, but um, just interesting things to learn the best way to use this. I think if you have a small uh, sink in your, your hostel, it might be a little difficult to use. Maybe use the um, you know, like if there's a bathroom faucet, you know, the one on the floor for the toilet, or just the shower head, holding it up under the shower head. Worked, but you're gonna get wet. So, uh, I guess that's it. So now I'm gonna wring everything out and hang it up and see if my stuff is nice and clean. 
Okay, so I can tell you right now, my stuff just did not get rinsed well enough sitting in the in the bag. I mean, the bag was still a little soapy. I was trying to wring these out. They were soapy, um, plus them sitting in the bag. I, it's just, you have to dump them out and then wring them out anyway. So if you don't have a sink, yeah, use the bag because it's, it's a... It's a sink, it's a vessel, right? But otherwise, I'd use the bag for washing and just rinse your stuff in the sink. I mean, this is just gonna get, I'll be able to use two hands. <laughs> I'll be holding the camera, but this is just gonna rinse it way better and not take very much time at all. And honestly, I don't think it's really gonna use any more water than it would otherwise. So I'm gonna rinse these, wring them out, and hang them up. Okay, so some final observations from using my scrubber wash bag for the first time. Even in this larger sink, so you have a pretty big kitchen sink in this place, when I was dumping out the soapy water and then trying to rinse this bag so I could then rinse the clothes in it, or even if I didn't want to rinse the clothes in it, it was it's all pretty awkward. I mean, the, I got soap all over the bag, outside and in, and then trying to wash it. I mean, I've gotten water all over the place, um, which is fine. It's just a little awkward to use this bag in a sink, so just be aware of that. And then I also, see, I'll take you outside. I also um, just did a, like a tiny quick load of just some underwear, because we all know that's the most important thing that, especially budget traveling, we're gonna wash often and need them done pretty quickly. So that was way easier to do with just a few undies in the bag and I didn't have much water. I think for my first load where I did the maximum fill, I think the maximum fill is supposed to be with the clothes in it. Like don't do the water first. Put your soap in, put a little water if you're using powdered soap, which you usually are in third world countries, um, and then put your clothes, then fill up to the water line. I think that'll make it easier to scrub. I think I just had too much water in there, so it was hard to wash down on the washboard. Okay, as far as how clean things are, I mean, I'll really know once they're dry, obviously, but um, the underwear, they, uh, you know, they still needed some spot scrubbing in the troublesome areas, so I think that would have been best done first before you throw them in the bag. Um, other than that, it was kind of fun to use. It'll just take a little getting used to, but I, I think it's actually going to be a really good thing to take traveling. I, I thought it would be too big and bulky, but so far it hasn't proven to be such.